In the depths of the Amazon rainforest, something impossible happened. A scene that defies everything we know about predators and prey. Just imagine, an animal weighing 500 pounds, with skin as thick and resistant as leather, capable of breaking hard branches with its powerful jaws, being hunted. But not by who you think. It was something very different. Something almost nobody knows about. And when you discover what it is, you'll have to pause the video to process the information. Stay with me because this story is going to turn everything you know about predation upside down. First, let's talk about the victim. The South American Tapir, scientifically known as Tapirus terrestris, is the largest native terrestrial mammal in South America. It weighs on average 500 pounds, but can reach an impressive 700 pounds. This animal is a survival machine. It has extremely thick skin that functions as natural armor. It's an excellent swimmer and diver, able to stay submerged for several minutes when it feels threatened. And here's the crucial point. When it's afraid, its first reaction is to run to the water. The taper is also surprisingly fast on solid ground, even on mountainous and uneven terrain. And it can be dangerous too. Although rare, there are documented records of tapers killing people when cornered or wounded. Even jaguars, where the largest specimens like those in the Pantanal weigh between 170 and 260 pounds, can have difficulty capturing a healthy adult taper. In Asia, tigers face similar challenges with the taper species there. The thick skin and brute strength of these animals make attacks difficult, even for the largest predators. So how would a much smaller predator not only attack, but completely exhaust an adult taper? Let's start by eliminating the most obvious suspects. The jaguar is the super predator of the continent, with the most powerful bite among felines, capable of piercing even turtle shells and caiman skulls. It's totally capable of taking down an adult taper. And yes, there are records of this happening. But here's the problem. The attack we're going to reveal lasted three hours. Three hours of continuous pursuit. Jaguars are ambush predators. They attack by surprise, go straight for the jugular or base of the skull, and finish the job in minutes. They don't chase prey for hours. So it wasn't the jaguar. What about the puma? The mountain lion, as it's also known, is the second largest feline in the Americas. Lighter than the jaguar, Weighing between 75 and 155 pounds, it's also a formidable hunter. Although more occasional, there are even recent scientific records of pumas preying on tapers. But again, the hunting method doesn't match. Pumas are also ambush predators. They use strength and speed for a quick and lethal attack. Long pursuits simply aren't part of their hunting repertoire. So it wasn't the puma either. What about man? Well, the record we're going to reveal was made by biologists in the field, observing nature in its pure state. There were no humans involved in the attack, only witnessing something extraordinary. So if it wasn't any of the known large predators, and it wasn't man, who was it? Before revealing the most unlikely predator you can imagine, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Because I guarantee, You've never seen content about this animal before. And there's much more incredible story coming. The predator responsible for this impossible feat is... The Bush Dog. Yes, you heard right. Bush Dog. A canid that most people have never heard of. An animal so rare and elusive that it was first described from fossils in Brazilian caves and was believed to be extinct. Speothus venaticus, its scientific name, is one of the most mysterious and least studied canids in the world. It's so rare that even in its distribution area, which goes from Panama to southern Brazil, Paraguay, and northeastern Argentina, sightings are extremely uncommon. Here are the numbers that will make you understand why this seems impossible. An adult bush dog weighs between 11 and 18 pounds. That's right. 11 to 18 pounds. An adult taper weighs on average 500 pounds. 
we're talking about a size ratio of 1 to 28 at worst and 1 to 45 at best. To put it in perspective, this would be like you or me trying to hunt an African elephant alone. It seems absolutely impossible, right? But it happened. And it was scientifically documented. In 2002, in Bolivia, biologist Wallace and his team witnessed something extraordinary. A group of six bush dogs pursuing an adult taper. The pursuit lasted three complete hours. Three hours of coordinated strategic and relentless attack. When the researchers approached and the dogs fled, they found the taper lying down, completely exhausted, with numerous bite wounds concentrated on the lower part of all four legs. The animal was alive, but clearly unable to continue fleeing. This record is unique. The predator-prey size ratio of at least 1 to 21 is possibly unique among all canids, and perhaps even among all carnivores. Not even African lions that specialized in hunting elephants in Botswana and Zimbabwe deal with a size difference of this magnitude. The proportion of lions hunting elephants is 1 to 10 or 15, much smaller than that of bush dogs. But how is this possible? How did such a small animal manage to exhaust a survival machine like the taper? The answer lies in evolution, strategy, and teamwork. The bush dog is an animal completely adapted to a lifestyle that no other South American canid possesses. It has short and stocky legs, but extremely strong. Its tail is short and thick, unlike most canids. The snout and ears are rounded, and here's the crucial detail. Its feet are webbed. That's right, webbed like an otter's. The bush dog is a semi-aquatic predator. It not only swims well, it hunts in water. And this changes everything when we're talking about hunting tapers. Remember I said tapers run to water when they're threatened? Well, this defense strategy that works against jaguars and pumas doesn't work against bush dogs. In fact, water is exactly where they want their prey to be. But there's more. The morphology of the bush dog is perfectly adapted to enter burrows and hollow logs, pulling out or expelling animals like armadillos, pacas, and agoutis. They're specialized diggers and exceptional swimmers. And here's the secret of their success. They hunt in packs with highly cooperative social behavior. Groups of up to 12 individuals have been recorded, although the most common are groups of two to six animals. The strategy is simple, but brutal. They attack the legs of the prey, causing wounds that accumulate. The prey tries to flee, but the dogs pursue relentlessly. If the prey goes to water, they follow without hesitation. If it tries to run, they attack from behind. Hour after hour, bite after bite, until the prey simply can't take it anymore. It's a pure exhaustion strategy similar to what African wild dogs do with antelopes, but taken to an even greater extreme considering the size difference. Now here's the big question that needs to be discussed. Was this taper really healthy? Wallace's report describes the animal only as adult without mentioning health conditions. But let's think logically. A healthy adult taper has all the resources to escape this attack. It's faster on land, stronger, can simply trample the small predators, has thick skin that makes deep bites difficult. Some experts believe there's a strong possibility this taper already had some previous physical problem. Perhaps a prior injury, perhaps a disease affecting its mobility, perhaps even advanced age. Something that prevented it from using its full potential for escape and defense. This doesn't diminish the feet of the bush dogs. Even with the possibility of a weakened prey, we're talking about an absurd size difference and an incredibly sophisticated hunting strategy. But it's important to be honest about the limitations. In nature, opportunistic predators always choose the most vulnerable targets. It's the law of survival. And bush dogs, despite all their impressive adaptation, probably couldn't regularly take down healthy tapers. This record is exceptional precisely because it's rare. Their natural prey are medium-sized mammals, between 7 and 26 pounds, 
pacas, agoutis, armadillos, and capybaras. In these cases, they're elite predators, perfectly adapted and extremely efficient. The bush dog shows us that in nature, size isn't always everything. Strategy, teamwork, and specific adaptations can overcome seemingly impossible differences in size and strength. This rare and elusive animal, which almost nobody knows about, is capable of feats that challenge our understanding of predation. It's a reminder that there's still much to learn about wildlife, especially about the species that live in the shadows of South American forests. If you enjoyed this story about one of the most underestimated and mysterious predators on the planet, leave a like, share it with that friend who loves animal curiosities, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And look, I left a special video right there that you need to watch. It'll be worth every second. See you next time.